Hi, I'm Chris Stevens. I'm the Community Development Manager here at Glasgow Music Studios. This year we've been running the Jam Project as usual. We've had over 60 young people of ages from 8 all the way up to 28 pretty much coming in and working on music over the last four months. It's been a really good year this year. We managed to upgrade a lot of our equipment in between the last jam and this jam. So we've been able to offer a few extra little experiences and um, let people try out new instruments and really get their hands on the latest technology. So we're always looking for new strings to bring to our bow here at The Jam Project. This year we've got a partnership with New College Lanarkshire where we're able to offer people who've got a little bit more musical experience and a bit more of a sort of songwriting background behind them the opportunity to get a college qualification whilst also working on their musical ability, songwriting, performance skills, confidence and all of this. And they'll be taking part in both of the gigs as well. We also have a small partnership with the University of West of Scotland. Two young men coming in every week and it's been their job to help work with some of our songwriters, performers and rappers to create backing tracks and instrumentals for them so that when they go forwards after the project, if they don't have the bands that we've put in places around them, they're still going to be able to perform their music wherever they like. So we have two gigs this year as part of the project. We've got one that is aimed at all of our participants and including the, the from the very youngest to the very oldest. Nice um, family friendly gig taking place at the Wild Cabaret on the 20th of May. The second gig that we have this year is being organised by New College Lanarkshire as part of their programme. That second gig gives us the opportunity to have a genuine over 18s pretty much unsupervised op uh, performance opportunity for these young people just like as if they booked a gig themselves or being booked by an agent. So this really allows them to see exactly what the real world is like when it comes to going out and performing. And uh, the, the staff will be there, but mostly just to cheer them on and support them should anything arise. The performance is probably my favorite part of the project because you get to see everything come together. And uh, it's always quite sort of reflective because you sit there and you can't help but think, God, look how far this person's come, or oh, I remember when they couldn't even play a chord on that guitar, or I remember when they didn't have the confidence to stand up in front of people, and now, you know, four or five months down the line, they're up there unsupervised playing their music, it's fantastic. I think it's really important for the young people as well to have something to build towards, because, you know, at the end of the day, they're coming into a music studio, and as staff, as, I'm, as I hope you see, we're all good, fun, interesting people, and we've got great equipment, great facilities, so they really enjoy coming in. But we're not just here for them to have a laugh and mess around with instruments. We'd rather it be going somewhere. So by having the performance that they can invite their families and their schools can come along to, um, it really allows them to show off a little bit. It gives them something to remember, and also they have something to show for all that hard work that they've done. This year, for the first time, we've also got some streaming equipment. So we'll be able to broadcast the gigs live on the internet for the first time. Uh, that's really cool because it means that everybody can go away with a video and professional audio of their performances. I'd like to say thank you to a few people for making this project possible. Got to thank Creative Scotland for funding it. They've been a great support over the last few years and really couldn't happen without them. Need to thank all of my tutors. Been fantastic as usual as well all the volunteers that have come in and helped us over this year to put these performances together, put these gigs together, sort out our instruments. And finally I'd like to thank all of the other staff here at the music studios who are not necessarily involved in the community development side of the business, but we couldn't really do this without their help and they're kind of like the unsung heroes of this project.